Banjo. Banjo? Will you be but my with friend? Go-Karts. Welcome to Nutty Acres. Starring this is the tropical Nutty Acres, where you will be, where you will get the ex most excellent Cubish TLC by our following patrons, Mumbo Jumbo as the farm owner. Sorry, yeah, I should say right now, this, this GameCon did what Ukulele did, where it reuses NPCs throughout the game. But I will give this over Ukulele. This one comes up with this wacky idea that they, they, this is every one of these set pieces is just another game world that Log is putting on. Also, there's Humble Wumba. Hey, what the fuck? Long suffering yeah. wife? I thought they hated each other. They did. That's Mr. why they're Fit. acting. That's why they're pretending. Oh, Mr. Fitz back. Mr. Fit. And this stupid head. Ooh, Ooh, introducing the trophy Who the heck is this hipster looking mofo? Uh, this, this hunter wannabe? It, hmm. No, oh, it's like, like a grown up timber if he were Poochie the dog. You know what? I, I wouldn't be like surprised timber. if at one point or another that guy was supposed to be uh, timber. Holy crap, that does kind of look like his uh, the and same character, but yeah. no joke, before they named him Mr. Fit, I thought it was that annoying aardvark character from Bubsy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, it's uh, like, how oh. the fuck did they do this? Yeah, I was actually... No, I was actually... that's just... It's the weird kangaroo looking... Yeah. Again, the art style... I will agree. The art style they chose really makes you have to do double takes of, that's the character? I was about yeah. to say, um, I might need a reminder. Who's Mr. Fit again? He was a sports fitness kangaroo guy in Cloud Cuckoo Land. He's one oh, of the okay. jiggies that we skipped. Oh, over you mean the character we never actually saw in the commentary? Yeah, that's Correct, why I didn't I remember him. I thought you were in it. Hey, hey Clungo. Clungo. Long, Long time no see. see. Which is fine with us, to be honest. Just went out there. Clungo not work for Grunty no more, which means it smell bad. Clungo buy her deodorant. She never use it. I knew it. Sounds about right. Clungo one of good guys now. I mean, oh, yeah, remember they, the ending of Toei? Yeah, they actually fall really? on gave him a That's new character arc. Nice. So is that why you have a floating jiggy over your head? Precisely. This means Klungo have challenge. Win Klungo's challenge and give he give Bear pretty gold jiggy. You know, just okay, then like, let's get to the challenge. I so yeah, that's pretty much the majority of what these guys have entailed. They have a, a particular jiggy mission for you to entail, and well, win the game, win the jiggy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, in terms of collectathon stuff. Honestly, not a whole lot of reason to explore these levels beyond finding characters to talk to and get more missions. It's all like pretty much secluded in the mission, which, again, probably was not the best for the ickies in the audience. Who, or, you know, collect notes if you can find them, I guess. I mean, you can buy stuff. At least you can buy stuff with notes. Let's also like, are there the really fact... no collectibles other than notes? Yeah, pretty much. Like... There are, uh, like, oh, that, spare that, and in the, that you can That find. and in the overworld, you can collect those little pink mumbo crates to unlock more uh, op more uh, vehicle parts and types you can build with. Are those here? Or are they only no, in the I don't think they're, they're not in here. They're only in the show downtown. Then what's the point of making the level so huge? So because they want to prove what the Xbox 360 was capable of. And you can drive By around. By making really big levels of nothing. We up. Oh. 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 Okay, oh. we're fine, we're fine. I mean, honestly, so, uh, it's sad in hindsight because, as we mentioned before, all the all the missions you'll go through in each world are segmented by gates, which is kind of silly considering the fact that you know I'm pretty sure you can fit every all of those missions onto the onto the exact same board given enough you know time. Oh no, a well, barbecue! Also, oh, it, oh, the house, the farm was not on fire; it was just a barbecue. But that's the other thing is that like now I think about it, James, especially since. I just now realized, yeah, you're right. This kind of, it actually seems a bit redundant when you put it like that, James, because, like, think of it like this. Like, Woman in some that. of these missions, you already have a loading screen. So, Why not just the missions put themselves every... are already segmented by the NPCs you talk to. Not to mention, so the, why... not to mention the fact that, like, it's going to, they're not, like, all the missions aren't even available right away. So why not just finish the mission there, and then after that, another mission will pop up with that character. Right, so, so wait, why so every yeah, you're right. It sounds like over divided via segmenting. mission. Yeah, what was that, Icky? Every level is divided via mission. Well, it's like well, uh via the gates, like they have act one and uh there's act two and act three, and I wanna say by act three that's usually when you would fight Grunty over something. So wait, um, wait, 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 hold on. So in this case, the only mission that we have here is No, 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 there's more missions like here's one right thing. here. Hello, Jinjo. Jinjo Player's Choice Guidebook. You'll see. The Jinjo Speed Challenge. Uh, basically, it's 
open-ended, and I will say I don't I don't mind the Jinjo appearance in this one. They look all right. They look too blocky, like everyone else. It's just that it's the art direction. And why is he talking? Um, I will they, say I will they've always talked. They're I mean, supposed yeah. to say Jinjo, whoosh, whoosh, we. They, they, they say it. But the first time you found one, it was like, oh, you found one of the Jinjo. I mean, it's they usually either say Jinjo or they just go. But um, anyway, I was about to say. As far as this game's art direction is concerned, I don't know every all the people that were behind the art style, but I do know one particular concept artist we that went. was pretty. Uh, oh, okay. We Monsieur just had to go fast enough, Jelly and if you go down Jack an incline, Wait, you just get it right away. What the hell was that? The, the challenge was the challenge was make your vehicle go fast enough using the speedometer around the mini map in the lower right, which Mecha just drove right down straight and using gravity beat the speed challenge. Hooray! Thank you. Are you legit? Yay. And there, there he, he goes. goes. Give me that Jinjo token. What does the Jinjo token do? I don't know. Is it like another note? Do I look like I play the game? Is it just Jiggy? Flex, uh, Banjo. Yeah, Whoa. show oh, off that like bear bun. Anyway. You know, um, that, you know, that would actually explain, that would actually explain ban Banjo's um, counter animation in Smash Brothers whenever you perfect guards. Oh, I mean, no. it's also a reference to the trophy item you could collect in the first game. Well, that too. Right, that, that's it for this place. It was all—it's all in reference to that thing. But anyway, what was I about to say? As far as the game's art style, art direction is concerned, I don't know all the artists that were that made this game, but I do know one particular person who was on board with this project up until their departure from Rare, or I don't know if they still work for Rare. And that are would familiar, be Jolly Jack. You, I was about to say Jolly Jack. Yeah, I know, I know Jolly Jack for various reasons I can say on and off camera. Uh, I know that uh, in particular, uh, the uh, the only piece of like direct artwork that is still in... Oh, by the way, by Grunty. Uh, the only uh, like major like bit of like artwork that you can see untouched is uh, he did the quote-unquote arcade cabinet art for Klungo Saves the World. Which mm. I wonder if we'll actually see in this look at. <clears throat> no, we don't, because I don't care about it. Okay, good. Well, does Mecha care I told Mecha about not it. to worry about it. I also, told can Mecha I just say this is it's a really a, annoying... It's just a silly platformer. <sighs> can I just say this is really annoying? That yeah. you don't just simply collect a Jinjo, you, you have to get deliver it to this uh, little caster. A here. Jiggy, I mean. Like, yeah, you're jiggy. given the Jiggy, but then you have to bring it to the bank. Well, no, then you have to go to the bank and pick up the Jiggy... And just put it in a machine like two feet away. Why it honestly just... makes me think of this of how you know the honeycomb, the, the empty honeycombs were handled in Tui, where it wasn't just enough just to collect them; you also had to deliver them to the honey queen. Yeah, but you didn't have to physically pick them up and then bring them one by one to her. I mean, it's essentially an evolution of that same annoyance. Yeah. Yeah, but this just so... feels like a needless two-step situation. So high power things in the optimistic booth over there. Um, I don't know. Um, I checked the timer. I don't know if the talking cooldown has worn off yet. Oh, nonsense. Oh. Give us the I, happy talk. I can well, tell you that right now, I can tell you that Humble Wumba is actually very important and actually a, a very good resource for newcomers to this particular game is Humba sells you various uh, blueprints. Again, pretty solid redesign. I don't mind. Again, I just look at her and I immediately, rem I immediately remind her that one character that you usually like to draw or have people draw for I don't you. draw, I commission people, but that's a whole other story. And I don't know, some parts of the design are still off, but I can see where you're coming from with that. Anyway, Humba sells different blueprints. Uh, and from there, I like that um, for the most part, um, it's, it's kind of like um, what I love about this over even the gummy ship segments in uh, Kingdom Hearts is... If you buy a blueprint from Humba Wumba, it's not like in Kingdom Hearts where you need to actually own all the parts in order to build it. Once you buy a blueprint, you get every single... Bye, Grunty. You get every... Let's go to Act 2. You get... Once you buy a blueprint, you can use that blueprint, whether you have all the parts or not, I believe. And from there, it only costs parts to modify or add on to that original design. So it's more so, so than just a blueprint. It's like a full-on, like, do-it-yourself kit. Do yeah, pretty, pretty much. much. And like, it gives you everything you need to make it, but you can add or subtract whatever you want from it. Right. So if so, the idea is, like, if you're a little new to, like, you know, all the customization and building a cart in general, like, you can just rely on Humble Wumble Blueprints and make modifications to it if you want to, like, get an extra edge to get those, like, uh... Uh, just feeling like, a, uh, um, thank you. But why are you standing next <laughs> to a ticking mom? Not even Mumbo, no. Mumbo, don't question it. 
Ikamboka. Bumbles and I, li- I like how his text actually does incorporate like the Ikamboka. And earlier he actually ca- he punctuates Uminaka. a sense with Umenaka. Yeah. Umenaka. I can't help but find that a little much. Like yeah. I was like oh, prefer no. to be said than outright by text. Well, it's kind of like how you never see Banjo say "guh." A in text big box. bomb fell from the sky. <laughs> a bad man. A bad game. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hit that bumble. It just explodes. Oh, oh, and then it uminak. And then you activated the darn thing. I mean, it kind of looks more like a bullet bill instead of a bomb. To be honest, Mumbo, you kind of brought this on yourself. We don't have much experience with explosives. Actually, one thing I will say regarding uh, nuts and bolts, I just remembered. Uh, when the game was initially released, um, you're literally gonna you're literally gonna have have you know a bolt that's as blind as a bat do d- blind, blind disposal for you. He's clever. Uh, yes. Oh really? Because he has glasses. I recall- that means he can see the finer inner workings of the bomb. Fair enough. But, uh, yeah, no, like, the, when the game was initially released, there was a bit of an issue in the fact that the game was primarily made with widescreen TVs in mind, when widescreen TVs weren't even the norm at the time, so the, well, text, like, oh, the text was incredibly ratio? small. Oh, they got squashed. Yeah. Thankfully, they thankfully they fixed that in a patch, so now the text is actually a little more... It's easier to read now. Mm-hmm. But back then, it was just bad. Ow. Oh. If you ever like, get hit... Like, what you see right there, it would have been smaller. Yeah. Another thing I like about this is that uh, your your vehicle doesn't have a health bar per se. When it whenever you take damage, parts will fall off. And for now, you know, just the the outer edge, that's fine. But if you lose a wheel, then you're in trouble. So it's yeah. like literally driving around a Lego car. Yeah. Again, th- this does kind of remind me of, like Lego racers a bit. And like we've already said, I do agree that this maybe would have done better as a, as, a, as its own original IP or. Bottles would have been do. better as a little racer. Not, spin. No, bottle fix. That did absolutely nothing. Holy crap! I can't believe that worked. <laughs> Happy to live without bearskin rug. Real quick time too. Um, the trophies are the, the only reason for the TT trophies, which do not stand for TT as you think it would. It's now the Tiger guy. Wouldn't it be um, funny if they did bring back TT from Diddy Kong? I think it's like for this. Trophies. As opposed to fun. the freaking hipster tiger there. That would be hipster, nice, hipster, yeah. hipster leopard. Or, you know, Whoa. what if they gave him, like, a pocket watch that had, like, TT's coloration and also... Uh, Banjo, what are you doing? Now? Oh, hang on, hang oh, on. Oh, oh, yeah, by the way, Banjo technically lessons. does have a health bar, so be wary of that. Yeah. We have a health Mech bar. Mecha's gonna use the bomb as a platform to get up here to get some notes. There's some platforming, but, yeah, the, the, the environments are way too sprawling to go on foot most of the time. You're gonna want to use the car... There is a way to te- to Excuse help me? help with Banjo's mobility mobility issues if you talk to uh, Boggy later down the line, but it's mostly uh-huh. just for the sake of like shit that Banjo can already do. Boggy, yeah. So we're gonna talk to Humba and get our next mission for this act. Uh, the other thing I was gonna say is the reason for the trophies, as we can see later, is whenever you do um, whenever you do well in the mission, you'll get a trophy, and for every four trophies, you'll get an additional j- uh, jiggy for it. Hmm. So and it's kind of like you, Becca, Super uh, Mario Galaxy 2 in that regard. Like, there's uh, one main mission, one side mission. Humba, uh-oh. you fool! You have ruined the volcano, and have, you have angered this place with your words. Oh, no. Now the we volcano gotta is racist. No, it ain't. Oh, ever thought about moving? Lady, you're standing a couple of feet up from a boiling pit of lava. Right, in a, with a very full hat on. Dude, be careful. So, uh, sh- she actually outright says that she's too overwrought with emotion to do anything because she fears she has jinxed the island and feels responsible. Hmm. Well, it's all artificial. Gonna... So, we're gonna speed up to this. We're gonna—he's gonna modify this vehicle real quick. Give me just a second here, Wumba. I just need to fix my vi- my vehicle a bit. Yeah, I hope you don't mind if I uh, take care of uh, some of this or that. So, I guess I should ask Icky... Uh, everything we've said aside, your thoughts on building games in general, like building racing games and stuff. I enjoy games where you get to build stuff. Like, I am I admit I am actually a really big fan of the whole Big Plant uh, series, aside from uh-huh. the third game in the PSP game. Yes. Um, like, at the time of recording, the, the PS5 game looks actually kind of fun. Like, the oh, yeah, oh, yeah, the, the big platformer. Game. 
I just hope it has a level creator too. I doubt it will, but I mean, if it if it, if it at least means more concise, and concise and you know tighter platforming, I'm all for it. If it does yeah. have a level editor, I will be very happy though. Because mm -hmm. like, I ooh, ooh, hot, I'm hot, okay hot, hot, with likes the Super Mario Maker, but I just want like a a 3D Mario Maker. I know. Not like just a, like, like side scrolling, world, like a 3D World Maker. Yeah. I can just imagine how much, how, how much, you know, man hours I'd have to take just to make a single level. I mean, mm -hmm. it already takes a bunch of man hours to make a good level. Fair. Like, have a you good level, seen the little stress. big planet community, like, for the original game, or the second game, even? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of crappy levels mixed with <laughs> a lot of really talented ah. level maker levels. Yeah, I hear ya. But, you know, but, so... So, with the builder thing aside, then, your thoughts on the building... Completely forgetting about what's happening with what happened with this with what you franchise with and the stuff. Building. Basically the building taking, out, taking out all the baggage from the original Banjo games and the fact that, you know, what this was, pro was promised to be at first. What do you think how the building was executed in this game? It's going to sound really oh. petty coming from me, but... I don't find this game broken or outright bad as much as it's offensive to what I'm used to and what I expect from a video game. It's disappointing, I'll give it that. I mean, again, it was unexpected in a bad way, unfortunately. It was unexpected, but, like, it's also... Like, this log guy just pisses me the fuck off. It's I the mean, condescending tone of, oh, I know what's best. People yeah, no, don't like, want to like, play video games anymore. They just I mean, want to yeah, no, do like, shooty, shooty, rooty, tooty. Oh, yeah, but, and, and just, yeah, no, lots of piece of shit, but oh, hey, it's I mean, this guy, yes. despite how he looks, is, it seems all right. Also, Let's this is Mecha uh, exerting some venting against this guy because he does not like Come his character. Come on, just because I'm better than you, sore loser. Okay, yeah, no, he's a piece of shit. He is very much a stupid hunt. He's very much hunter with no redeeming qualities. I'm guessing he's a ninja wannabe. Oh my Except God, the blue way does kind of look like likeable, he does kind of. Oh God, he does. He actually, has the name Trophy exact Thomas. Hair. And winning's my thing. Want me to prove it? Okay, Let's go. Bubsy. A quick race around the island. Unless you, of course, the bear is scared. Holy crap, he does Scare look like bear? persona. No, just it's a race. Whoa. Man, Man what a loser. He sounds like an asshole. He, he, no, he uh, he's definitely designed to be that way. Which, oh. I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't, I don't mind new characters being added. I mean, two, we added new characters, and I was fine with that. Like, it, just some of their attitudes just aren't no very likable. They all seem no to want to put idea. Banjo down. Like, honestly, you can sort of tell that this game, like, at the worst possible times, tend to have a very condescending feel to it, especially with this asshole. I mean, there's so, tongue in cheek, and then there's just being. Disrespectful to, to what you initially stood for. Mm -hmm. Which was, you know, good stuff to be to stand for. Uh, I guess like, I'll ask Taj? Kai, did you ever have... Oh, jeez, I was going to say... Why can't uh, we be racing Kai, Taj? Did you, ever, did you ever have any experience with this game hype? Like, actually, like, hands-on? Um, I think I played the demo for it once years ago. I don't know if it was at, like, an actual kiosk or if, it, or if I was over at a relative's house. But I do remember playing, like, a bit of it. I don't remember, like, how far into the game it was, though. Oh. Hey, you had a head start! My brakes must be sticking! Yeah, sure. Yeah, Did I mention it was a best now. of three? Oh, for fuck. Really? So here we go. <laughs> Wait, he you, makes you race you twice? No, no it's, it, it, it is a different course, though, admittedly. Seriously, oh. though, take your, take your lumps, you salty motherfucker. No, he is very much like, again, it is Hunter with no redeeming qualities. Well, I mean, That's he forgot sad. his running shoes, but he remembered his fucking golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, if this is supposed to be a race, shouldn't he have brought, brought in his uh, award-winning uh, Mana Rape companion? Oh, yeah. yeah. Where's the Mana oh, Rape? Yeah. Oh, it's in the water. Because, Well, actually, no, it's in the actual ocean, because this place is just some sort of biodome. Yeah, Ooh. oh, yeah, no, all these areas are... The areas kind of have a... Well, I mean, I guess that's part of the whole, like, since these are the game worlds that quote-unquote Log has built or designed, like, they all have a very fabricated industrial tone to them. They're all they just do, cheap there is some variety to them. 
I mean, I, li I like the worlds enough. I just wish there was more to do with them in them beyond just, you know, this. Race. I mean, because that is the case. Like, you'll have... <sighs> if I had a really... From the footage I saw that Mecha Sonic put, which, again, thank you very much. Big thank you to them for doing this. From the footage I saw, almost every game can be boiled down to either get there fast enough or... Or Demolition something. Derby. Or Demolition Derby and or pushing something to another place. And that's every game. Let's never speak of this again. Dude, he has, like, nerd glasses. Why should we give him any credit? Dirt goggles, anyway. <laughs> Dirt goggles? Uh, yes. Anyway, we'll see you all for the finale. See you on the finale! It'll see be cool. you then, I see guess. Yeah, huh?